The Bible tells us that we should let no corrupt communication proceed out of our mouth, but that which is good for the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, and these are the affirmations that we're going to talk about today for our crown adjusting affirmations for kingdom communication. Why does the Bible tell us that our communication is important? It's not just what we say, but it does include what we say. It tells us in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter and the 33rd verse, that we shouldn't be deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. We want to make sure that our walk and our talk lines up. We want to make sure or we should be intentional about the words that we speak, that we are examples for others to follow, that we are edifying, encouraging, impacting, motivating, inspiring others to be godly in nature and to follow appropriately. So today, let's jump right into some crown adjusting affirmations based on the word of God so that we might be the best examples while we're still here on the earth. Let's go on in. Crown adjusting affirmations for kingdom communication. My conversation will be positive and with great character. Proverbs 4, 24. I am not a carrier of gossip. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 11. I speak with a humble and a teachable spirit. I give grace. My words are seasoned with salt and full of grace. Colossians, the fourth chapter, the sixth verse. My words encourage others to be the best versions of themselves. The power of life and death is in my mouth. I use it for good. Proverbs 18 and 21. I am intentional about what I say and how I communicate. I am intentional about uplifting others. I am sympathetic and empathetic. I harbor no ill will. I forgive quickly and act accordingly. I maintain discretion and operate with discernment. Proverbs 5 and 2. I stick to my commitments. My yes means something. Matthew the 5th chapter and the 37th verse. I refuse to be a part of corrupt communication or be the carrier. Ephesians 4, 29. My mouth is not a place of filth. My actions and mannerisms will reflect a godly nature. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in the sight of God. Psalm 19, verse 14. I listen attentively to the word of the Lord. I am honest. I tell the truth. I will declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118, verse 17. I pattern my actions and speech to be an example for others. 1 Timothy 4 and 12. The vows I make, I keep. I am careful to share God's word often. My speech is gracious and comes from a place of love. Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, verse 11. I refrain from evil and deceitful speaking. 
1 Peter 3 and 10. I speak in due season and motivate the hearer. Proverbs 15 and 23. I am a student of the word and my words empower the weary. Isaiah the 50th chapter and the fourth verse. I stand on God's word. It will accomplish all that he sent it to do. Isaiah the 55th chapter and the 11th verse. Well, welcome back. It is so important that we declare what it is that we're going to do, that we set our minds and we keep them set on things above, that we recognize that we have the ability to assist and encourage and empower and impact others in a positive way, but we have just the same ability to influence them negatively too. So we're intentional about what we do. Here's what I do know is that others will also impact us. And sometimes as we're still trying to be filled with the Holy Spirit and operate appropriately, our cups get knocked off kilter and we spill some of that out. And we're in need of a filling again. Life happens. Things happen to us. And we need to be spiritually built up. We need that spiritual foundation, but personal development is also key. So I want to offer you today an opportunity to book a vision breakthrough strategy session with me. On it, we'll get on one-on-one -on -one and we'll determine the blueprint for you to be your best version of yourself, for you to get to where you need to go. We're going to figure it out so that we meet, so that you will then have everything that you need. You'll know the next best steps in order to proceed. This means that your life will not be the same, but it will mean that it will be the best that it can possibly be. Bringing back in that joy, bringing back in the steps that you need to know that you're going to survive, not just survive. Let me rephrase that, but thrive. Again, go to my website, that's shantahaines.com forward slash vision, and we'll jump on that call when it's convenient for you. Now let's go ahead and seal the deal today with a prayer. Let's bow. Most gracious and heavenly Father, God, we bless you. We honor you for all that you do in our lives. God, we are so grateful for the things that you said yes to. We're also grateful for the things that you said wait on because we know that in our waiting, it's going to be better when due season does arrive. Oh God, but we are also so grateful for the things that you said no. We look back over our lives and realize if we got everything that we asked for, we would be in a mess. But God, you want the best for us. That means that we are going to communicate appropriately with our words as well as with our actions, with the things that our hands find to do. God, we want to be pleasing in your sight. And as it says in the 19th Psalm, we want the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart to be acceptable in your sight. You are our redeemer. You are our source. You are our strengthener. Help us to be resilient as we go through life's challenges. Help us to be encouraging and empowering to others. You said that our words are going to lift them up, that we overcome not only by the blood of the lamb, but by the words of our testimony. So Father, today, we're asking that you intervene in our lives, that you give us discernment, you give us discretion, and that you allow our words, that our hearts are clean, that our words that are pouring out, oh Father, will be that that is only going to edify and be an example for godly communication. We thank you in advance. We're gonna bless you always. It truly is in Jesus' name that we do pray and give you thanks, amen. Well, God bless. Again, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes. It truly is my pleasure to bring you these affirmations that are based on scripture. That means that they're confessions, they're declarations based on the word of God. And he is not going to allow his word to return void, but it's going to accomplish everything that he set it out to do. So when we set our minds and we keep them set and we're intentional about the things that we say, we're reminding ourselves of what God wants. And then we're acting accordingly. 
So I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries. It is my pleasure to do this, but I also would like for you to like and subscribe and even comment below. Share it with someone. Make sure they know as well so that we can all do this together. We rise and we are better together. I'll see you on the other side. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week. God bless.